Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in historic downtown Chillicothe, Missouri where we have found the home of sliced bread. That's right, the home of sliced bread. But alongside that home of sliced bread, there is a rich historic past that unfolds through over 15 murals. And this is a great way for you to just stretch your legs and get out and enjoy the community, all the while taking in a piece of sliced bread. Now, if you go on to the Chili Coffee website, you will find this set of paperwork right here. This is a listing of all of the murals that you're going to want to see and some details as to why they are important in the community. Now, if you are interested in coming, they have plenty of parking spaces for you to come out and park absolutely free so you can take this walking tour. And every building that you find is something spectacular. The artist has done such a good job to portray all of these classic scenes from the historic past of Chillicothe, and the detail is impeccable. Webster Street View, 108 Washington Street. The view of Webster Street on the north side of the square shows the street building with visitors arriving and departing from the Milwaukee Depot. Many of the buildings in this mural are still in use today. In addition to the paper that we were able to download online, there's more information on each one of the individual plaques for the murals. Now, some of these murals actually have memorials on them and are dedicated to special members of the community. But all of them that you find will have the artist's name right here or somewhere near this bottom corner. Okay, so mom is with me today and she is helping me find some of these murals. Which one are we looking at right now, mom? Looking at the number 17 Chilla Coffee Business College. I'm trying to locate it on the map. Can you see it? Okay, it looks like number 17. We're looking for 17 and I is think that it? it's right over here maybe. There it is right there so we have two right here that we've just seen and now we're going to go across the street where the majority of all of the places are now this is a wonderful find it's a great way for you to come into a community that you're not super familiar with and have this great history kind of unfold before you it's a really interactive experience and they also have a lot of different events that center around the downtown area so whether you're just passing through or you're coming for one of those special events this is something that's really fun i do suggest printing out the map however because you can navigate on the map printed a little bit better than just pulling it up on your phone and along the way you never know what you're going to find there's plaques like this also historic district is placed on the national registry of historic places so little hidden gems everywhere now this is the locust street mural and it says here it was chosen based on an 1890 postcard of locust street so that's really fun that this is a recreation of something that was once put out there as kind of like a tourist draw so this is what humble beginnings would have looked like and it's really peaceful and it looks pretty similar to some of the places that we're seeing now other than you know the horses something else we're noticing as we kind of go around these are lit up at night i think they have a string of lights that surrounds pretty much all of them so you might be able to even come down here in the evening time and take in the views not entirely sure but they do have that capability so that is a big huge blazing positive especially in the summer months now we did notice something a little bit special about these paintings though why don't you tell them what we discovered mom 
Okay, according to the paper that we printed off from the city there, the artist has an unusual thing that he does, likes to do with his murals. He likes to put the names of his families in the mural. So it's kind of like a hidden game. So I think we found the name of Kenna. It's very faint. And I'm not sure what the name below that is. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for all of these. We love a good scavenger hunt. Now we love a good scavenger hunt. So I'm gonna show you what she found and I'm gonna show you what I found and then we're not gonna show you any more of these. So come out and play the game, find the names, and this is kind of what they're gonna look like. So do you notice on this sign right here, something faint. This is where mom has found McKenna. Let's zoom in a little closer. So you can kind of tell it does have a couple of N's, an A, and definitely an M on the front. And this one I found, it's Melody. That one is a little bit more clear, so it makes it a little bit easier to find this one. Now, I encourage you guys again to get out and play the game, look for the names, but more so just take this in. During the daytime, it is a little crowded on this main street, which is Washington. Lots of traffic. However, in the evening time, it's a lot more relaxed. But we're about to get off of Washington and go over a couple blocks to check out some more murals and see what's going on. Looks like mom has spotted another one. Three names. This one was a lot easier. So even the door frames. Look at that. Okay, that's a cool one too. It looks like that one is the barber. He even has a little barber pole beside it. And just to kind of add to it, look at this. We actually have a salon that's right beside it. So right inside here is an actual salon and it's right next to these amazing murals of barbering. But without further ado, we have found the home of sliced bread mural. And this one is epic, guys. Now this mural depicts the story of what the world might have looked like at the time that the sliced bread machine was invented. And we're gonna get into the sliced bread a little bit more on a different video. But this is so cool guys, so cool. Now, in addition to being the home of sliced bread, I just saw a sign that says, it's also the glove capital of the world. I haven't fact checked that. I don't know if they still are, but there is definitely a sign that says so. Look guys, they have a little library and it's the home of sliced bread library. So the way that these work is really neat. You open it up by lifting the latch and opening it. And then there's a bunch of books in here and you can borrow a book go home and read it and then bring it back or you can put a new book in there for someone to read this is a great way to have a sense of community and this says a lot about this community right here this place has tons of really good books which means that their community really cares now each one of these is a little bit different they have different companies who have been in the area and how long that they were in business and they have a portrayal of each one of them as a part of their history, but also they have a few individuals who have done some amazing things. Like up at the top there, we have Betty Preston Steele who did 31 years teaching piano to the community. That's amazing. This really is such a fun way to share history in a community. Like the little bitty tiny touches. The little tiny pieces like the Betty back there that shows you who the people of the community are the businesses that have thrived here and it's just really cool 
to be able to come in and see that as a person from the outside who has no knowledge of Chillicothe whatsoever, I feel welcome. I feel like I'm home. Now, as you can see here from our mural list, there are 24 murals that are on the list, but we found several additional pieces of art around town. So you're gonna be busy. This is gonna take a while, guys, and they're scattered for several blocks. On the corner of Webster and Locust, we have the Palace of Fashion, and this is neat because right around the corner, literally, there is a little retail shop that has some super interesting items in there so not only are you getting a really fun picture of what it might have looked like historically but then you can come back and see what it looks like now and shop as a traveler i connect with this one because this is all about movement and travel and it is huge we're looking at two almost three stories tall now clearly to achieve murals of this size it had to have taken a lot a lot of work so the artist is absolutely both patient and amazing the details are phenomenal and the scale of these is so magnificent that you just can't miss them when you drive down here it's very obvious that they are right there front and center for you to see most of them are just as big as the one that we just looked at back here look at that huge huge but there are a few that are a little bit smaller like the one i'm about to show you this one is the railroad room and as you can see there's a lot of intentional white space on this one and it comes over to this piece right here which is slightly smaller than some of the others but it makes it pop and it makes it really look almost like a postcard and what's funny to me is this pipe you would never even think doesn't belong the way that they painted it sure it sticks out sure it's a part of the building that couldn't be removed but when you look at it next to something industrial like this it doesn't look out of place it's kind of weird and looking around it looks as though they could definitely continue going there's walls like this still staggering throughout the town just waiting for paint so i can only assume it will continue okay so this has been downtown chillicothe the home of sliced bread but also the home of some really impressive historic murals and a downtown walking tour that in my opinion is one of the best i've found now i have mom with me today and she loves art as well so what did you think mom like she just said, I do love art. Just fascinating to look at all of the brilliant colors on the walls. And standing here looking at this huge picture makes me think of long ago um, what it might have been like. Yeah, I think that's the greatest thing about this. It really paints the picture. So, like I said before, even if you're an outsider, you feel instantly like you have a connection to the town. It's pretty epic. So, until next time, guys, I hope you have enjoyed walking around downtown Chillicothe with me and that you'll come back and see me again next time. If you've liked today's video, make sure that you leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and come on more adventures by checking out the interactive map in the comments section below. Till next time guys, bye!